All right, this video we're going to talk about how to show logical equivalence for propositional statements. Um, here's an example propositional statement, uh, P and not Q, or P, and we're trying to figure out whether that's logically equivalent to just P. So the way we show logical equivalence is with the truth table. So uh, we start out by building our truth table. In this case, we have two variables. So our truth table on the left-hand side is going to have a P and a Q. <coughs> So I'll build this table here. And then on the right side, we need to show that P, or we want to see if we can show that P is logically equivalent to the uh, larger statement on the left. So uh, I want to have two columns over on the far right side to show that each of the, the uh, rows are identical. So I'm just going to write this up here, P and not Q or P. <clears throat> As I've shown in class, um, the easiest way to fill out this truth table is to use a few uh, helper columns here. We'll make this the thick row. Um, so let's have our first one be P and not Q. Um, and then um, I guess that should be all we need. So P and not Q um, is false for this one. It is true for the second row. It is false here and false here. <clears throat> so uh, to fill out our uh, second to the right column, then we take uh, this element, which we'll call number one, and we or it with P. So it is uh, the column on the far left side, and we or that with uh, column one here. So true or false is true. True or true is true. False or false is false, and false or false is false. Now we uh, fill out the table for, uh, I guess, our far right column over here, which is just P. So P we can just copy directly over from that side, so it's true, true, false, false. And now we've shown that the statement on the left is logically equivalent to the statement on the right, because every element of our uh, truth table, every single row matches. For it to be logically equivalent, every row has to match for your entire statements. <clears throat>